Before the last nerf, he uh, he was in quite a good spot, I think. Yeah. Yeah, right, let's see how this goes anyway. We've got a lot more regression going on. So we're getting a lot more benefit for not only getting downs, but also pressuring gens and kicking them. Bad movement, I like it. There we go, massive uh, regression. So we've just got 8% on two gens. And now we're doing another 15% onto the closest gen being done. Plus the regression what we were hitting. And then we've got... Uh... Oh, and then we also had... Um... Eruption, so they can't be on the gen for 25 seconds. Added on top of uh, another 10%. Yeah, so we just did about 40% regression with that one down. Overall. <laughs> you can kind of see the difference, right? It's quite important. But as I said, you can give me whatever build, I'll try and win with it. It's just, you know... I, uh... I'm just a person playing the video game. If you give me stuff that's pretty much impossible to win with, that is the outcome what will probably happen. We don't have to. I've won with uh, very bad stuff sometimes. That's another 8% plus. On top of... So that's 8% plus, because it depends how many gens it hits. And that's another 15%. Boom. And then we have oppression, which is going to hit four gens while kicking just one. And then if they miss that skill check, that's another X percent uh, taken off as well. So if we kick this gem, we'll give a skill check to four other gens, three other gens, sorry. If they miss that, it'll explode. Okay, they hit it, if they're on one. Um... And then that'll regress, but that's also going to hit loads of gens and regress them. Anyway, we're not keeping track of who we're going after. Uh, we got one, but who else have we got? I wouldn't do that, Meg. Whoops. Mm, never mind, I kind of messed that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot who I'm going after. I've gone after one. It's because I explained the build. You don't make that window. <laughs> Once again. That's a... Uh... What was that, Jolt? Coming Jolt, right? Anyway, 15%. Uh, uh, wait, I need to actually remember who I'm going after. I'm, I'm overwhelmed myself. Uh, one, three... I think one, three, and four, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait for oppression. There we go. See if they missed the skill check. Nope, didn't miss the skill check again. We've still got that nice regen there. See, look. See how it's regressing? I didn't even need to walk there. It's because of oppression. One, three, four, I think we're on. One and two, was it? Oh, one, two, three, sorry. So I was all looking to go, not only can I get this skill quite easily, I also could just send her to uh, a cage. But I'm not gonna. You know why? Because I want even more aggression. And by putting it here, I get another 15%. On top of the 8% I just did.
Fuck. And even even with all this regression, what well, you know what's happening, like every now and again it's like 40% here, 45% there on, on every every down. Uh they've done two gens. <laughs> okay, Leon's there. I don't care about him. Next time we see her, I might just finish her though. She ran to the left. Yeah, I think I'll just finish her here. Unless I can make a scourge hook. Oh, there's a scourge there. Nice body block. Okay, I guess I'll go for you instead. So that's another, that's another, uh, 10%. Did I kick that? I can't remember. It's an 8% or a 10%. It's 18% every single time I down someone. Uh, if there's a gen nearby. 18% plus. There she is. She's, oh, she's healed already. Hmm. Here, let's see. Kind of damage can we do here? One. So that's another eight percent on that gen. And then uh, take it into this hook will give us another fifteen percent on top of the eight percent. You see what I mean? Like I'm getting actual regression happening. The only downside is you need to get quick chases. When you start going against really, really strong players, that starts becoming a lot more difficult. And depending on the uh, killer you're playing too. One, two... Got that one over there as well. We get a hit on him. Oh, that's a girl who's dead. I just saw her. It's another 15. Uh, sorry. I, I can't. Uh, yeah. You get the idea anyway. <coughs> the devs always nerve stuff like this, though. And this is the stuff where I actually get allowed you to go for chases more. It's really weird. It's just backward thinking. The killer's downing quickly and getting rewarded for it. This can't happen. The survivors would actually need to, like, not go down quickly. That's too oppressive. And they're still chucking along, even with really quick downs. Lords and lords of regression. Yep. See if I can get another Scourge on this girl. Okay, we didn't get any 8% there. Can we get another 15? We can indeed. Another 15%. She's dead as well. Oh. So yeah, God knows how much regression we actually get with these games, but it's, it's going to be a lot. Like, we're looking at 200 plus regression armor, which is two gens worth, by the way. So it's the equivalent of them. They've completed five gens at this time, but it says two's left because we've regressed two of them. You see? Actually, it's even more than that because when they get hit with eruption, they can't go on any gen for 25 seconds as well. So it takes off 10 seconds, but then it has regression on top of that. And then they also can't... There we go. We just did him. So he... That took 10, 10 off uh, that gen. So 10% off that gen. Added on to this 25% off that gen. Uh, I don't know if Jolt would have worked with that grab. 
But that was 10% plus 25. So 25% of that gen. It also takes him off for 25 seconds. So we can't touch it. And it regresses as he's not been able to touch it, you see? So it's even more, like, adds up a lot. So instead of that save, uh, sorry, instead of that, uh, the locker grab, just being me picking her up and putting her on the hook and that's it, I got 25% regression, and the guy can't be on the gen for another 25 seconds. Looks a lot better. Look at that. Seems, seems, seems to be a lot better than what I would have got, which would have been nothing. <laughs> Only guess is if they get hit by it, uh, otherwise it doesn't. Oh shit, I actually didn't know that. So it doesn't give you 10% unless they get hit by it. Hmm. Nice. Oh, it ran. Dude, we're both confused each other. Are you gonna fall through the uh, thing? You know. Nice. Nice. Run over there. Going back to the region. It does always give 10%. I passed by the leader. I was probably looking at chat. Wait. Yeah, yeah, okay. We got the region. That was the worst chase we've had, but it didn't really matter because there's only two people alive now, so... It's about its own. Uh, we got a shape kind of through. Survivors should be doing, like, agents. I, I know. Like, you don't want to say that to people, though. But, yeah, I mean, if you want, you want killers to go for loads of hooks and stuff, yeah. Obviously, five gens is way too little. Uh, with an efficient team. I mean, this build kind of helps with it, though. I mean, I, I'm not denying that. 100% does. Good dodge. Holy shit. I think the issue is, even if survivors don't really do good chases and go down quite quick, they still can get all the gens done. I think that's, like, one of the biggest issues with gen efficiency. Um, luckily, builds like this can make it so you actually get benefit from quick chases. Nice. I'm gonna, uh, watch this. Oh, I'll get you with that. Wait. <laughs> I knew I'd get him. Eventually. This guy was the strongest looper, though. Strongest move, whatever you want to say. Ma -da -da, ma -da -da. But yeah, we regress a lot. We regress a lot. Yeah, Larry's is alright for Jolt, yeah. Like, just kicking that gem with oppression regresses free up. Like, everything just gives you uh, more efficiency, right? Even oppression. Like, with oppression, I kick one gem, and I get three others regressing along with it. So, you know, that gen at the other side of the map, I don't need to walk over there and waste loads of time anymore. I can just kick a gen close to me and hit that gen by default. People are massively sleeping on that fact. I've said it before, I'm saying it again. Like, I, people are massively sleeping on that fact. Like, being efficient with killer is so important, and that's not just chasers. Like, you can have, and I, I've got this documented thousands of times easily at this point. You can have 10 second chasers. You can have chasers where they can't even loop one loop they're at before they're down consistently throughout the game, and you can still lose all gens. If you don't have gen efficiency kind of build. If 
But as I said, the only downside to this build is good loopers. If they're good loopers, you're fucked. Um, that's why deadlock is good. Because deadlock works against good loopers. But deadlock gets fucked by uh, not having enough with it. Like, you could maybe put deadlock in this build. No, they even had a brand new. You could put deadlock, uh, which they definitely don't need, by the way. Because just in general, they, they, the gens are so much faster. Um, without the need of brand news and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, GG. That guy's mad at Leon. Leon probably did a lot for the gens without that guy knowing. <laughs>